Right, hello everyone, and here we are again, back playing Fading Hearts. I'm here. Well, actually, let's let's stop for a moment. We seem to have developed a <laughs> habit of introducing each other together. <laughs> so I'm here with the lovely Laura. Say hello, Laura. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and the wonderful April. <laughs> hello. I didn't get. I an didn't want you to say hello, but yeah. Well, I did. You did. Deal with it. Oh, well, I was, I was going to be alliterative with both of you, but yeah, the 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 the, the awkward April. No, no, that's not right. Uh, the 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 the, um, the airy April. No, that's just. just. Didn't we discuss look, this last look, time? Look, look, there's an April bobbing ahead over here. Yeah. <laughs> no, this doesn't work. Okay, right. In the last episode, Rina, thinking of airheads, Rina came up and said. You've got to, you've got to stop dating me. You've got to date Claire instead because Claire's being abused by her boyfriend. I know it got You should dark. be doing that. It's a weird logic, dark. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, any, if anyone's going to abuse Claire, it should be you, Royo. <laughs> go, go out there and give her the slapping she deserves. <laughs> oh. And with that, she left and went out into the storm. So do we go after her or do we do nothing? Go after her, if you're any keen of man. <laughs> you see, the challenge has been laid. Laura <laughs> just wants to do that voice way more. Yeah. I don't Real really. Men. <laughs> Real men go after them into the storm for their women, and it gives her a chance to do the work, the voice. Let's go after her. <laughs> I sprint after her, yelling her name at the top of my youngs. Youngs. <laughs> I sprint after her, yelling the name at the top of my lungs. lungs. <laughs> but she's already disappeared. Minnie, I cry. Minnie, come back. Minnie. <laughs> I was like, is it lagged? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> come back, Pluto. Come back. <laughs> Bad idiot. She never worries about herself. She's going to catch a cold for sure now. Aw, oh, Moe. Rena, you need to come back and dry off. Come back to my apartment and take those wet things off. <laughs> Rena. Rina, <laughs> you, you idiot! <laughs> you... <laughs> that was that was surprisingly tuneful for me. <laughs> you need to think about yourself sometimes. <sighs> I search for her frantically in the pounding rain, but it finally dawns on me that it's hopeless. Oh. You think about it, I should have just gone to her house and waited for her. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would make too much sense. Uh, our PS has gone down, but our strength has gone up. What's our PS? Well, I don't know, but we're slightly less PS than we were. <laughs> the physical stamina or strength? Or... Uh, something like that. <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, it can all PS off. <laughs> I return home, dejected, cold and miserable. Rena, why did you run off like that? I'd have put my trousers back on if you'd asked. <laughs> I peel off my soaking shirt and pants, towel off half-heartedly, and throw on the first dry clothes I lay my hands on. They're Rena's, they don't fit very well. <laughs> then I fall into bed, exhausted. Well, that shirt's been on his bed for months. <laughs> it's actually just a pattern. <laughs> Claire really let herself be abused like that, and Rena, oh. she's trying to be strong, but it looks like it's killing her. Oh, let herself. Mm. <laughs> yes. Oh. I think I, that's that's the sound of April leaving to wherever the hell this is to give Ryo a good slap. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I stare up at the ceiling, wondering what I should do now, but I fall asleep without finding any answers. Good morning, Triton City. Everyone, <laughs> ride out the storm okay? Today is Monday, March the 11th, and what a beautiful Monday it is! <laughs> it happens at more or less the same time every day, but I, uh, still, I'm always surprised by the fact that I'm impersonating the TV presenter. <laughs> Today feels especially surreal in the lights of, of the events last night, but was that a dream? 
or am I dreaming right now? Or was I dreaming me now when I was dreaming that I was actually a small hamster in a very large wheel <laughs> being chased by those carrots? <laughs> Must stop having cheese for supper. <laughs> Rena was convinced Claire's boyfriend is abusing her. I don't want to believe that, but if it's true, I want to hunt the guy down and punch him in the face. <laughs> but our PS is down. But our PS is down. <laughs> but I'm... yeah. But I'm also worried about Rena. I want to punch her in the face as well. <laughs> she broke up with me entirely for Claire's sake. How does she expect me to just let things go like that? To forget about my feelings for her. Uh, for, um... Uh... For... Um... Yeah, okay. It's not, I, it'll come back to me. <laughs> Rena, that's it. Rena, you just can't throw away emotions like that. No matter how hard you try to hide it... Look, Susan, I know you're in even more pain than I am. No, Deirdre, come, come back to bed. Uh, it's, you know, it will be all right in the morning. Uh, ellipsis. Well, first things first. Before I do anything else, I need to corroborate what Rena told me. I get changed and hurry in a hurry and head off to school. Maybe I should ask Claire what her boyfriend's like. Much to Claire's delight, I'm a little early today. Wow. Yo, I didn't expect you this soon. <laughs> she always looks so pissed off. <laughs> you actually haven't been late for a while now. She's just annoyed that she can't tell him off. <laughs> Did you hit your head or something? Very funny. I know, right? <laughs> How should I approach this? I can't exactly come out and say, Yo, Claire, does your boyfriend ever hit you? <laughs> so, so I accidentally blurt out, so, Yo, Claire. <laughs> so instead I say, So, Claire, does your boyfriend ever hit you? <laughs> How have things been going lately? Any bruises in interesting places? No better or worse than you last saw me. Why? She says this with her usual smile intact. She doesn't have a usual smile. <laughs> That's my point. There's nothing in her eyes to suggest that her boyfriend is hurting her. Where's Rena? She hasn't made it yet. It's got 55 pieces. It's going to take a while. <laughs> God. Late as usual? Lane as usual? I don't know what Seems that way. <laughs> I hope she didn't oversleep. I hope you didn't oversleep. I you May I help one. you? <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to have to get get you two to sit in separate corners of the internet? No, I just was, I was seeing that I'm actually getting better at accents. As long as I can copy the same line that someone did before me. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you better, that better be true. That is true, I promise. I believe you, yeah. It's, it's easy to learn well, that we're, way. We're going we're to stop this now and pick this up next week. When we're going to be doing the trading hearts with me and my friend April. <laughs> No, honestly, it is so much easier when you're copying someone. I understand. Uh, and we can do that when it's not during an episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, she says, I want to vastly annoy someone. I'll vastly annoy them on some channel other than my own. Yes. Why not? Oh, I'm sorry. Carry on. Well, that's all we have time for. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, did you two hang out last night? No. Sorry, I was just waiting for your echo. <laughs> I was so desperate to do it. <laughs> Last night I was with my boyfriend. Boo has the boyfriend. <laughs> my heart twinges at those words. And then what Rena said might just be true. So, Claire, does your boyfriend have <laughs> uh, a big moustache that he twirls and cackles does to himself? Does he you to train tracks? <laughs> yes. Did Rena... Now, does he have a large top hat and a cloak? <laughs> Did Rena call you last night? No. Did she call you? And if she did, what did she call you? <laughs> yeah. She was really upset because of some rumors she heard about me and my boyfriend. Apparently you were having fun. It's terrible. <laughs> should I tell Rena? Uh, should I tell her Rena came over last night? Mm. What do you think, guys? Mm. I think she's about to just tell you about the rumour anyway, so I would just... 
play dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with play dumb. I like that. Yeah. I'll let her tell me her side of the story first. It'll be easy to get to the truth that way. What kind of rumor? <sighs> that my boyfriend is bad news. He is bad news, Claire. <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, sorry. Oh. Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I borrowed that line. I'll clean it and put it back. Back to back to Minnie Mouse. He is bad news, Claire. You have to break up with him. <laughs> I was saying that. I think this doesn't make sense. This is totally out of context. Listen, Rena. It's just a rumor you heard. There's no need to get so worked up about it. But I'm worried about you, Claire. You might get hurt. Shouldn't you at least tell us more about him? We're your close friends. Yes, we should judge. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a year older than me. Um. <laughs> Rina doesn't seem satisfied with that. Honestly, I'm not either. <laughs> do what you do. Oh, do what you do, Simon. <laughs> mediate between two women. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay, if you click that one, it's wrong. If you click that one, it's wrong. If you click that one, it's wrong and leads to violence. <laughs> I don't like to take sides on discre disagreements between friends, but I can at least intervene to stop this from becoming a fight. Or at the very least, fill the pit up with mud and provide them with bikinis. <laughs> Rena. I know how you feel, and it's only natural to be worried about a friend you think is in trouble. But Claire would tell us if she needed help, right, Claire? Oh, dear Lord, why is stupid as uh, everyone else? Uh, <sighs> <laughs> of course. She says, shuffling her feet and looking at the yeah. ground. There's an ellipsis in there. <laughs> Never trust an ellipsis. <laughs> Especially one with squinty eyes. Never trust an ellipsis with squinty <laughs> eyes. Especially one with squinty eyes, a large moustache, and a top hat and cloak. <laughs> Doubly so if you're near a railway. Oh, <laughs> I know you're worried, but being but being a good friend means looking at things from Claire's point of view too. Okay. I look deep into Rena's eyes, praying she'll understand that this doesn't mean that I'm giving up on Claire. We just have to take a more delicate approach. You're right. I'm sorry, Claire. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry, too. Why is she apologizing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Relieved. I give Rena a quick smile and an encouraging nod. Now, now that that's settled, let's get going before we're hit with tardiness. I start walking before they can object, leaving them no choice but to silently fall into step. Behind Always me. at least a foot. <laughs> uh, reminds me of a joke. Uh, photojournalist went to Afghanistan before the, the, the fighting started there, and he noticed that all the women were walking five meters behind the men. And he went back later on after he has all the Taliban stuff and all that, and he noticed that the women were walking five meters in front of the men. I'm curious about this change in habit. He went up to them quietly and said, you know, I, I noticed this has changed. What's going on? And I said, what's, what's different between then and now? And uh, the woman looked at him and said, landmines. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh that is <laughs> so racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we de de dug down to Laura's level there at least. Uh, <laughs> Like, kind of. <laughs> Alright, we're supposed to be doing this, aren't we? <laughs> Man, that was stressful. Man, that was fun. Alright, everyone. It's, it's Why are you at school on a Saturday? Did anyone notice that? Because this is supposed to be in Japan where they do go to school on Saturday mornings. Yep. Oh, do they? And they go to school year round, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, that, that might make okay. Here's the exercise <laughs> in the book. Oh, I'll, I'll be on the corner over there having a sleep. <laughs> Man, it's even harder to focus on the lecture now I'm thinking about Claire's boyfriend, and I wish the teacher would stop snoring. <laughs> I wonder if talking to Sophia would help. 
After what she said yesterday, I'm willing to bet she knew all about this from the beginning. Who's Sophia again? I don't remember. I have absolutely no idea who she is. <laughs> oh, she's Aelin's mm. twin? Uh -huh. I, I see. Mm. The hours crawl by until it's finally lunchtime. Now to go find that nosy reporter. Oh, the reporter. Okay. I leave the classroom and head out into the hall in search of Sophia. Fortunately, she was in the same corridor as she was last time. <laughs> now, where is she? She said I'd be able to find her here. Looking for someone? <laughs> I jump and turn to find Sophia behind me. Strangely, the corridor from behind me looks exactly the same as the corridor in front of me. <laughs> You'd think that would be wrong, wouldn't Even you? with the windows, they switch sides. <laughs> yes. Yes, this school was designed by M.C. Escher. <laughs> ah, just the person I need. Take your clothes off and assume the position. Oh, wow. <laughs> now Simon's having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you ready to talk now? Yes. You want information, and I want information. Wrong voice, you're not Damien. That's not quite my Damien voice. <laughs> That's my I've been talking for two hours voice. <laughs> Good. Let's take a walk. She doesn't seem surprised I changed my mind so quickly. I wonder how much she really knows about what goes on in this school. I trail behind her, enjoying the view, try to size <laughs> her up as she leads me to somewhere more quiet. It's a corridor exactly <laughs> like the last one. <laughs> I know, they so could be a thin. little bit more invention, can't they? Oh, just think how much of the price they'd have to raise to uh, to get a, a fifth <laughs> graphic, it would just be wrong. <laughs> so then, tell me about your good friends, Claire and Rena. Boy, she gets down to business quickly. I met Claire about a year after the Y2K disaster. She's really driven and focused, so she's in a lot of clubs. She's the one who introduced me to Rena. Rena is a millennial orphan, and she's amazingly smart. But despite that, she's really disorganized and forgetful. Ellipse. <laughs> That's it. What else am I supposed to say? It's not like they have some kind of secret past or anything. Would you say they've been acting any different lately? I shake my head. But then I remember Rena's visit last night. Well, last night during the store, Rima came over to my place in tears, telling me Claire's boyfriend was abusing her. Hmm. So you don't know about Claire's boyfriend then? So, she did know about it before. What else is there she isn't telling me? No, Claire never talks about him. It wasn't part of the agreement, but I'll make an exception this time. Consider it my duty as a reporter to expose misconduct. Claire's boyfriend is named Mark. He lives in the next town over and comes off as friendly, but has serious control issues. He was arrested once for assault, but the victim refused to profess charges. Not that... Not that that was the only incident, though. It's just the only time the police got involved. Somehow hearing it pre presented as cold hard fact makes it even worse. I had hoped to learn that there was nothing behind, uh, nothing to what Rena had said, but she was absolutely right. This guy is bad news. I know, because I, I heard it from the <laughs> newspaper girl. <clears throat> Claire, why would you go out with such a creep? Why are you letting him hurt you when I can do that? You don't even have to go to the next town. <laughs> Ryu? You there? By the sounds of it, April's about to explode. <laughs> I try to focus, but it's all so overwhelming. The more I try to think, the more my head swims. I haven't had to think before. How do you do it? <laughs> so, it's true. But what can I do about it? Have you tried talking to her? She's way too pig-headed to listen to me. I bet the more I try to persuade her, the more she'll stick by him. I've never been able to change her mind about anything, least of all something so touchy and personal as her relationship. But wait. Sophia said something about the wings of light. 
that they're, they're good at breaking up relationships, even if the girl is as willful as Claire. And that one of them goes to our school now. Oh, stupid decision alert ahead. <laughs> uh, if I could find him, maybe he'd agree to break up Claire and her boyfriend. The idea of striking a deal with one of these heartbreakers disgusts me. But I'd do worse for Claire's sake. Hey, I told you what I know. So tell me who the ex-member of the Wings of Light is. That look on your face says you've got something in mind. It's none of your business. Will you hold up your end of the bargain or not? I don't renege on my deals, Rio. If you're looking for a member of the Wings of Light, you won't have to look far. Oh. And that's our 20 minutes, <laughs> Cliffhanger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have been a cliffhanger if people hadn't started arguing in the middle of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's> too funny. <laughs> All right, we are going to leave it there. There'll be another episode of this up next week. Uh, give or take personal disasters or meteorite mm -hmm. strikes. Or yeah, whatever. right. So... Those damn meteor strikes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. I blame us. I blame us for sending up these satellites to go look at them. It just offends me. <laughs> like, fine. <laughs> You're gonna stare at me. I'm gonna land on one of your seas. <laughs> yes. All all meteorites are called Bob. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, guys. That's it. Okay. I've been Simon Parsons. These two have been Laura and April, the other two members of the Naughty Trio. <laughs> Thank you very much and good, good night. night guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.